Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another review for Mr. Tim Palman of Palman Acre. Now I'm a big fan of his fermented hot sauce, so I'm really excited about uh, bringing this one up for you guys today because this is his estate fermented hot sauce. This is part of his new 2018 estate releases from Palman Acre. The Estate Fermented Hot Sauce. And he's got this one rated at about a 4 out of 4 there for heat. So this is going to be pretty hot. All right. Comes in these nice 6-ounce size kind of stubby bottles. All right. Let's go ahead and read what it says about this one. He says heat level very hot. Palman Acres 2018 Estate Release Fermented Hot Sauce is a super hot seasonal version of our fermented hot sauce. All of the chilies included were grown and aged to perfection on site at Palman Acre, Palman Acre Estate, right? With a blend of Big Black Mamas, Seven Pots, Butchalokia, Ghost Peppers, Scotch Bonnets, and Habaneros, this delicious table sauce packs a serious punch with serious flavor. If you enjoy our fermented hot sauce, you'll love this estate release. Now that's made with some awesome peppers, isn't it? And here's the ingredients on this one, guys. We start off with onions, estate grown and aged chilies, big black mama, seven pot, butchalokia, scotch bonnet, habanero, ahi amarillo, and the ricotto. Wow, that's, I love all of those peppers. Bell peppers, vinegar, water, lime juice, coconut oil. Now that's another unique ingredient that Tim seems to use uh, in his hot sauces, coconut oil, coconut water, carrot, garlic, salt, agave nectar. Here's another ingredient that he uses that a lot of people don't, and that's arrowroot. And I believe that, if I'm not mistaken, is a healthier alternative to xanthan gum. And then he's got spices. Now, the sodium is listed at only 80 milligrams, so that's not bad. But check this out, guys. Now, this is more of the vinegary thin uh, type of pepper sauce. Um, I think that this kind of uh, is okay for this type of hot sauce because it's just more of your basic fermented pepper sauce. Uh, maybe like a Louisiana style, which is should be vinegary thin like this. Not supposed to be thick. Uh, Tim Palman's got some thick sauces, but this one's not designed to be that way. A really nice dark color on it. But as you can see, it's pretty uh, fluid there. All right, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Now, this one has such an awesome aroma to it. Now, with all of those hot peppers that are in here, super hot, it's like the uh, Big Black Mama, Seven Pop, the Ghost Pepper, and, and so forth, it doesn't come across as that in-your-face, real, real strong, chinensi, super hot aroma. And I think the, uh, the he's aged these for about 30 days. I think that fermentation process has kind of mellowed things out a little bit. Uh, which it definitely does when you ferment peppers. It gives it kind of a different uh, aroma and flavor to them, less sharp, um, maybe less acidic, kind of brings out more of the, um, the rich um, flavors of the pepper, kind of tones down the sharpness of them a little bit. I think that's exactly what this has done. I get the onions. I really get the onions, and I love that first ingredient. I don't have a problem with onions. But such a rich blend, a rich, awesome aroma uh, from those fermented peppers. Now, it's not coming across as that funky, fermented funkiness that is uh, really characteristic of something that's been fermented for a longer time, maybe several months or maybe even years. But it's really, really nice. I love that about it. Mm, get the garlic. Doesn't smell over vinegary, but just a really awesome aroma to it. Now... I have to admit, this is one thing that I don't like about this sauce, uh, is this type of sauce being in this type of bottle because it's so thin that you got to be very careful when you pour it. See that? If you pour it any faster, it's going to run down the neck of this bottle right here and just make a big mess. That's why I'm a fan of flow restrictors on a thin vinegar-based Louisiana-style pepper sauce. It needs to be shaped not poured. Oh, here we go. Let's taste this. Mm. Oh, fantastic. Now I get just a hint right there of the um, the coconut oil. Yeah, that came through. That's coming through a little bit. I really like that about it. 
uh, but get the onions. You get that nice flavor and aroma of those fermented peppers, um, but that's really, really milder, a lot milder than I thought on this. Now, it is spicy. It's going to give you a it's going to give you that super hot oven type burn, but at a very, very low level, if that makes sense. I can tell that the burn that this is producing is coming from super hots, but it's at a level that is just very, very low that kind of puts this, it kind of seems, wow, this is not nearly as hot as I thought it would be, but it's got a great burn on it. It's got that super hot burn that I recognize, kind of that deep oven hot all over burn but at a very low low level if that makes sense at all but love the flavor on this one it's just awesome it's not too vinegary it's not salty it's very very savory i love the blending of those ingredients with the lime juice and the coconut oil the carrot the garlic a little bit of sweetness from the agave nectar but just a really awesome slightly fermented flavor to it that's just really really good now let me show you what I did with this one, guys. I put this on my go-to breakfast sandwich of a sausage, egg, and cheese on a toasted Bay's English muffin, and it was really, really good. So this is amazing, guys. Um, just not quite as hot as I thought it would be. It's in the four to five category on my one to 10 scale. I think I'll put this at a low five uh, because it's producing a pretty good burn, but it's just kind of a subdued level. Um, so this is my review on Palm and Acres Estate Fermented Hot Sauce. Excellent flavor. Highly recommended if you can get her, get your hands on this. Anything that Tim Palman produces is amazing. It really, really is. So check it out. Give a like on Facebook uh, if you're not following him. And the uh, website is palmanacre.com. Link will be down in the description. Tim, thank you so much for sending it. I do appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more. And until the next time, you know what to do. Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.